Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Another three in my Have a Look At series. Um, these ones are big ones and I make no apologies about these ones. I didn't buy these to use and I only bought them because I loved the look of them. They are very cool items and there are no practical reasons why I needed them. Um, they are basically just to own and appreciate. Um, yeah. First up, a gas eye. Spear. These are all big items, so they're not going to fit in frame. This is the short-handled version. What a fantastic piece. Um, yeah. There's not much I can say about it, other than the fact that it would be a formidable tool. Um, it's a weapon, actually. Yeah, not a tool. Used both for thrusting and for chopping. Um, yeah, it's reasonably sharp and, yeah, the nice short handle, so you can, yeah, use it in one hand or two. Um, comes with a really nice Kydex sheath. Slips in. Sits beside my bed for comfort reasons. You just slip it out of the sheath like that. Zula used them to great effect. And I can see why. Um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd long wanted one. My old man bought one. And Cleavers here had them on special a little while ago. And I thought, why not buy one? You can get the longer... Longer um, handles. Like, I, I can't remember exactly how long the handle is. I was going to get another one. But, um... There was some contention about getting the longer handled spears in because I was going to get a boar spear as well. So, but um, I couldn't get one. So, yeah, and looking at the prices of some of the boar spears now, they're well over two hundred dollars. And I know I only paid, I think I only paid about fifty bucks for this one. So yeah, um, a fantastic piece, I think. Anyone who wants a spear and just wants a short-handled one, these are the the Agassi is something you should really look at from Cold Steel because yeah, they're just a, a, a fantastic talking point and you could use them. I could see how you could use these for um, certain hunting situations, although I don't know the legalities of that. Um, some places allow you to use spears for hunting, other places don't. I don't know what the legalities of hunting are, hunting with spears in Australia are. So, yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's my Agassi. I just wanted to show you that one. Really happy with it. It's a fantastic piece, and I'm glad I got it. The other two. Again bought for no other reason other than the fact that I think they are fantastic and um, I love this sort of thing. First up, Cold Steel Battle Axe, Viking Battle Axe. Um, this one is not as, I didn't like it as much as the next one I'm going to show you, but still it's sort of grown on me a bit. I'm a bit upset that the head's a little bit wobbly. I am going to put a wedge in it. So um, I'm going to take it over to my friend Jack's place. I'm going to split the head and drive a wedge in it and fix that up. I was going to put have it so that you can take the head on and off, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'm probably going to wrap the handle in paracord um, 
I've seen a lot of different ones where they um, treat all the handles with, like, um, do burning on them and all that. I'm not going to really worry about all that. I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to paracord wrap the handle and, um, yeah, just be done with it. I've got a reasonably working edge on it at the moment. I'd hate to get hit with it. But, um, yeah, just another fun piece to have in my collection. Kydex Sheath was a fantastic um, addition. Can't find them on eBay. Don't ask me where I bought it. I bought it off eBay. There was a bloke who was making them. They It fits really well. But I've looked them up now. I can't find them. Um, yeah, they were reasonably expensive. It cost me as much for the sheath as the axe cost me. So, yeah, they were quite expensive. But um, it's a fantastic build quality and suits the axe. Like, gives gives the axe really good... good um, protection i'm glad i got it um works really well and you need that on that that sort of axe but that's the viking battle axe this is the first one i bought um the viking hand axe comes with a a sheath that you have to buy separately again the head's wobbly uh, as well Again, I'm going to take it over Jack's place, split it, and drive a wedge in there, fix that up. I did wrap this handle in paracord. I'm going to do the same with the battle axe. Again, didn't buy it for any other reason, really, for other than the fact that I love this sort of thing, this sort of fantasy axe, um, and it looks cool. Um, yeah, just a fantastic piece. I haven't done any chopping with any of these weapon uh, these weapons because I don't really need to. I will eventually take them out and give them a flogging. Um, this one's got another. It's got a working edge on it as well. Could be sharper. Both of them could be sharper. I've put them on the work sharp and have got the edge up a bit. I would hate to get hit with them at the moment. But when I do get them, eventually get them sharp, which I will do, um, yeah, they, they, they would be a formidable axe. It's got the full full length, I think 30 inch handles on them. Um, yeah, another great piece. The one thing I was a bit disappointed with the other, with the, um, the battle axe, they should have, um, they should have, sold them or had the options for these sheaths which they didn't do with the battle axe um it's just silly but anyway they did it with this one but not with the battle axe so i don't know why they didn't do that but they did did it with this one so yeah that's my three other um fun pieces that I have in my collection. The Agassi, the Viking Battle Axe, and the Viking Hand Axe. Now, the Battle Axe is probably fairly, I wouldn't say traditional, but there would be this sort of axe in the Viking. Um, Vikings use this type of axe. I don't know if they did use the hand axe style. So um, I don't know if that head is very traditional. But I'm pretty sure I've seen copies of the battle axe shape. So yeah, that's just a, um, a little side thing that I've I had. My mic's falling off, sorry. So there's a bit of noise coming through there. But yeah, um, yeah, that was one thing I did. I, I think that head shape, the Viking battle axe, was a, a fairly traditional shape. So yeah, just a, a little side note. But anyway, as I said, there were three just fun um, purchases and a have a look at out of my... Um, Cold Steel Collection, the Agassi, 
battle axe and hand axe. Thanks for watching.